Is that another bike part? No. All right, what do we got? Cush core. Tire suspension. Faster, smoother ride, more traction, superior cornering, rim and tire protection. Now, I was sold on this. I hadn't tried it, obviously, but I'm sold on the idea. You look at this image here, this is like a volume spacer for your tire that presses the beads into the rim, letting them hook up and this is the part they reference to when they say superior cornering, no wallow, even when the tire pressure is low. So what's inside? Take a look. So this is a kit, it has two of these guys, stickers, valve cores, instructions please watch the video follow the instruction stickers everybody knows mountain bikers like stickers the kit contains two valve stems two inserts now the insert this is one of the things I was sold on as well is closed foam one piece molded specific to each size um, as far as diameter this is a very mature product. Uh, it's not like, you know, extrude it and then cut the length and then piece together. This is one piece molded. So it's going to be a pretty good fit. But still have to install it and ride it. And that's coming up. Getting everything ready. Soapy water. Tire levers, I like Pedro's, they're nice and stiff. Get the insert ready, the tire is ready. Tubeless tire obviously, tubeless ready rim. Valve stem installed, hammer, bucket, a planter to lay it on, I'll show that later. And you need a Kong if you have a dog because the dog already stole my tire levers twice. So there he goes with his Kong. And ready to go. Okay, here's step one. Putting the insert onto the rim. Use the hammer to pin it down. And then work it up the sides. And finally stretch it onto the rim. Let the bead pop in and that's step one. All right. Next step is putting the tire on. So if you want to be really good about it, you line up the label with the valve stem. Make sure you put it on the right direction, the running direction. Line it up with your logo. And start working the bead in. I like to start on the tire, on the uh, valve stem. Pop the bead in. Use the tire levers to push straight down push the bead into the rim. Use soapy water inside the tire. And 
work it in. Anything you want to say to your... So make sure you push the bead down towards the center so you get enough slack in the tire to pop that last part in. There's one side. Alright, so one side the bead is in already. The second side is the hardest side. So spray the bead with soapy water. All around. Then I start at the valve core, the valve stem. Push it down into the rim. Down into the center of the groove of the uh, rim to sit in that groove that allows more slack. You want to make sure the tire is not sitting on the on the edge like it's supposed to when it's finished it needs to sit in the center center groove that has a smaller diameter so you get slack to put it on like it's on and then I pump it up to about put soapy water on the rim on the outside of the tire pump it up to 45 psi just to get it to seat well popped everywhere it's looking good we'll let it sit for a little bit and then the next step is um, deflating it taking the valve core out and injecting sealant into it so the kit comes with a valve core tool, a little wrench basically, take the valve core off, right. let the air out, and I got my tubeless sealant ready, should I use orange seal, seems to work best for me. That's all completed. Put the valve core back in. And that's it. It wasn't painful at all. Don't forget to subscribe. The ride report is coming up soon. Thank you.